Hey guys, it's David O with Biddle MCOM. Welcome again to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be getting into uh, going over some of the different kinds of transition types that you'll find common in film and video and movies and cartoons uh, and see what you can do within Premiere Pro. So there's tons of different options and ways that you can do this. The most common transition, of course, and you'll see I have some clips here already set up on the timeline. The most common transition, of course, is the simple cut. And that's where you cut two pieces of footage and you just splice them together. It looks like that. Pretty boring, right? But it is easily the most common transition type. You probably don't even notice it when it happens. Okay, so now if I go over into my effects menu, and click on video transitions we can take a look at all these different transitions that are available within Premiere Pro. So after the general cut the most common transition type is under dissolve and it is called the cross dissolve and you'll see it it just looks like a little dissolving fade. Let me show you what that looks like I need to take this click and drag it and put it between the two clips right on that cut point and this is what a cross dissolve looks like. And no doubt you've seen this one a billion times in about every movie you've ever watched. It's called the cross dissolve. It's probably the second most common transition. Now I have some more footage over here and let me get to probably the next most common transition. It's called the dip to black. I'm gonna do the same thing, click and drag it, put it between the two clips and you can see what that looks like now. Yeah, you've seen that one a ton too. And all it is, it is fading out the first element to a black screen fading in the second one from a black screen so you can see how it goes 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 and now it's totally black right when i get to the cut point and then fades up from a totally black screen into the video super common it's a dip to black now jumping off of the dissolve tab into my next set of footage i'm going to go down to the iris and you'll probably recognize this uh, maybe from some old-timey westerns and they used to literally adjust the iris on their camera to get this effect and it would put like a circle around the character or the scene. Uh, you'll recognize it from uh, the beginning of James Bond movie. Check it out. Right? It looks just like James Bond. Yeah, that's called the iris. And then the next most common transition type, I'm going to jump off of iris and go down to wipe because the next most common transition type is called a wipe. You'll recognize this transition from Star Wars movies and cartoons and you'll see right away. That's exactly what a beginning of a Star Wars movie looks like almost every single time. Cartoons do the same thing and this is a pretty common feature in programming like that. And the cool part about the wipe effect in Premiere Pro, I can change the direction of it over here in my effects control panel. I can make it go from, uh, it was going left to right, I can make it go right to left. I can make it go from the bottom to the top. And I have a ton of functionality over it. I can change how fast or how slow the wipe occurs. And that's all by clicking on the transition, going to the effects control panel. And the cool part is I can adjust just about all of these transitions that same way. I can adjust the length of my cross dissolves or my dips uh, and all you have to do is click on it, go to the effects control panel or just pull up the little drag bar next to each side of each transition and I can stretch it out, make it longer or I can squeeze it in and make it much quicker. Lots of functionality uh, right from the timeline. Now, those are the five most common transition types that you're going to run across. I'm going to show you one of my favorite transition types that comes standard in Premiere Pro, and it is called, it's under zoom, it's called the cross zoom. Check this out. I think that's super cool. And the coolest part is it's not a plugin. It is standard in Premiere. Watch it again. <laughs> yeah, it's eating up my processing. So that's the other thing. Some of these effects require some more computer stability and I might be running mine a little too hard with all the different dissolves and zooms and all kinds of different things that we're doing here. Showing transitions, these are the most common ones plus some of my favorites. And you need to get in here and play around with them and don't be afraid to use them, especially under the immersive video tab. Uh, there's some real cool ones in there, but they can bog your computer down. So be patient with it as you're figuring them out. So transitions are really a matter of your personal preference and what style you're going for in whatever project you're working on. 
So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about it, call, text, or email if you know me. If not, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Guys.